Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Before we take any step further, I want to make sure that the communication between Vue.js and Laravel works 100%. To do that, in this video we will use Vue resource to make HTTP calls and we will set up course on Laravel. Anyway, first I want to create a route in the Laravel project. As you can see, I have both projects up and running and I run them in different IDEs. I use PHPStorm for the Laravel project and WebStorm for the Vue project. So inside the Laravel project, I will open the routes folder and then the API file. You should already know about this web.php file and the difference with the API file is that in the API file, we define only API routes. We already have this user route here, but I want to set up a new one because now we cannot use this route. So I will get rid of the comments and below this, I will say route, get, the endpoint will be test and then function and I will just return a user. So return response JSON user and just return a user here with first name and last name. Okay, so let's take a look of this. I will go to my browser and I will go to slash API slash test and it returns the user. Now the question is, can we access this endpoint, the API test endpoint from view and how? First, let's answer how. So we need to install a package to make HTTP calls. In our case, we will use view resource. So go to your terminal, open a new tab and make sure you are in the front folder and not the back folder. So once you are inside the front folder, you can run npm install view resource and then you can also use the save flag. So let's configure view resource to work with our project. Inside the main.js file, we will import view resource. So import view resource from view resource. And we want to tell view to use this new package. So view.use and we pass the view resource. This is all what we need to install and configure view resource. Now let's go to the login component. So inside the login component, I will create a method and this is where I will test the communication between view and Laravel. I will send a get request to the test endpoint and we will see whether we get a response back or not. So use the methods option here and create a test method. Inside here, I will send a get request using view resource that we just installed and configured. So this dot HTTP get and this answers how to make the communication possible between Vue and Laravel. Now for the URL, I have this here. So I will copy this and paste it inside here. Of course, something that you notice right away is this part right here. We will see later what we can do about this, how to avoid writing the HTTP, localhost, 8000 or whatever your domain is. But for now, this is not our problem. What we want to do and make sure is that we get a response back from the server. So when we send a GET request, then I want to log the response. So function and I will log console.log response. And of course we need a response here. Okay, now I will use the login button to call this method on click. So right here I will say at click then call the test method. Perfect. So let's try this. If I go to the front here and I will refresh and click login, 
It looks like the communication is working, however, we do have a problem. The problem is regarding cross-origin resource sharing. To solve this problem, we need to set up a middleware in the Laravel project. We can manually create the middleware to define the headers and how the headers should work, but to make sure that this is 100% correct, and in case you want to extend this application, let's use a course package for Laravel. By the way, this guy here, the Brave, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this guy is very famous in the PHP community. So I will scroll down and I will get the composer require command to install the package. I will go to my PHP store and I will open a new tab. Make sure you're inside the back folder and not the front folder. And I will just paste this. This will install Laravel course and once it is installed, go back to GitHub and I will copy the provider here. And back to PHP store, open the app.php file and we will actually app.php inside config folder and I will add the service provider. Now by adding the service provider, we now have access to a middleware called course. So what I will do is to open a route service provider and I will go at the end of the file and I will apply the middleware to all the API routes. So change this, the middleware here, the option to an array and add the course middleware. Now the last and most important step is to publish the configurations. So copy, where is it? Yeah, this one. So copy this command here and go back to PHP Storm or the terminal if you are not using PHP Storm and just paste the command. So this will create now a new file inside config, this course.php file. This is where you play around a bit, but by default we allow everybody to access the API. As you can see here, the allowed origins, it is a star, which means that everybody can access the API. And this is how we make the communication possible. So this answers the other question. Now, if I go back to the view project and I clear the console, click login, we do not get red errors anymore. Now, one last thing, if I go to the course file here and I change this to something like localhost and then 9090. Of course, if I now go back and press login, you can see that we get back to the red errors. And this is because the project is running in port 8080 and not 9090. So the server will not allow this website, this project here to access the API. However, if I take this back to 8080 and again, I press, I clear first of all the console and I press login, you now can see that we do not get errors anymore. And of course, inside the body of this response that we, that we log is the user. And this is how you make the communication possible.